Alright guys, it's time to continue my Let's Play of Back to the Future the game for the Wii, and I've got the Toy Viewer 24 with me, who also has this game. Hey. And we just got the notebook back from Biff. Uh -huh. Go ahead and open it up. Alright, Doc. Where are you? Oh, okay. Now I see I got to do in this part. What was I'm that? Back to the future myself, and I'm Currently pointing up to five. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't beat all the other episodes, but I just wanted to play episode five. Mm -hmm. But now I'm doing it to do. And now the DeLorean is back. It's better than ever. Oh man. Let's go ahead and check out the DeLorean here. And now, finally, time. Take out. Take out Edna. Yep. Alright. Don't try to ruin the story for the viewers, Cody. We haven't gotten there yet. I'm not ruining it. Ruining it. Oh, uh, okay. Einstein! Einstein's Where in there. Where did you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? This looks like Doc left a couple stuff in here. Left uh, some stuff in here. So here's all the stuff, the flux capacitor. Let's pick up this shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. So we'll have to deal with that shoe in a little bit, but first let's uh, hear what this tape recorder has to offer. because the last one departed thing is kind of screwed up now. So if you guys remember that shoe we picked up about two minutes ago, uh, we're going to go pick that up and uh, give it to Einstein because maybe it could, uh, let's see if uh, he knows anything about that. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Great Scott, I think he's onto something. So now we're going to go downtown. And go see uh, who this shoe belongs to. And we're going to try to find out the date where Doc's stuck in. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? All right, let's go ahead and re ring this buzzer over here. E. Strickland. Step away from the door. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Cool again. Get along now. Scat. All right, so let's we're gonna see that the, uh, we've got some for them. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. So we gotta get out the shoe and show it to her. A shoe? Wow! Now what would I oh. want with a? Uh -huh. 
So it looks like she has the other pair. Really? Leave that creature outside. Sorry, Einstein. And now it's time to finish up episode five. All right, so now we're gonna go inside the house. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. But you can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Now I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. <laughs> it's a fact. Look it up. So if you guys remember Principal Strickland from the first uh, movie, uh, he's that mean principal, so it turns out that she is uh, married to him. Alright, so we gotta... Let's go ahead and ask her to use the binoculars. If I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I can see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, he wouldn't believe the father. Alright, so they, a... that's not what we're supposed to do. Uh, let's talk to Edna. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! <laughs> Let's uh, ask about the shoe. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Hi, <laughs> what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But. Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh. Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> Was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Wow, we're gonna talk about it with speakeasy. Wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny. Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two right things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! <laughs> She's crazy. Three 
built in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. <laughs> so now we gotta get her to leave the room so we can look at the newspapers. So we gotta, uh... Turn on the radiator because she cause it hot makes here. a noise that sounds like the tea is done. So, because she's making tea in the kitchen. That's the cat. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. So now that she's leaving the room, we get to go check out the newspapers. All right, let's see what the newspapers have to offer. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case... The actor who's doing Carl Marty Sagan. sounds a lot like him. From his Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. So now we got a date. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me... No! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Ow! Get out! Get out! Get out! She's Help! pissed at us. Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! <laughs> All right, so now we got a uh, uh, time date, so time to go in the DeLorean and go back in time. Son, and what are you doing in that getup? It's a costume. Uh, tonight's the big uh, Halloween party. Halloween party? In May? Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Let's do this. Time circuits. Ah, flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. <laughs> I love when he says that. Flu flux capacitor, fluxy. Okay, if Doc's going to get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and, and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Here we go. And to finish off this part, we're going to uh, see him uh, going 88 miles per hour, and uh, let's go to 1931. See what happens next when we come back.